I think growth character relationships and kind of seeing where each of the characters, you know, go in terms of dealing with how we left off with Cameron and even with, with the program, the bigger bigger questions are like, what are we actually doing here? And dealing with kind of the, the life and death situations that we go through every day that we're not really noticing until one of our, you know, let's say one of our loved ones is put in that situation. Kind of the effect it has on us as individual characters and our relationships with each other. Um, and for, for, for my part, I can, I can say that, you know, the, the events of the finale definitely leave Camille reeling and reconsidering what her real function is in this organization. Um, and with that comes the desire to uh, be more physically prepared, so she goes through fight training, like I did this summer, um, and, uh, and, I, and, and pulls away emotionally, I think, from the whole group. And, uh, I have the burden of knowing too much that I can't share, but uh, secrets. Yeah, but you know, um, Camus is still a thing. Linus has some catching up to do with Camille. Yeah, but uh, there'll be some growing up, some maturing. Yeah, he's gonna try and figure out how to play to a more sophisticated version of himself. He's gonna get on her level. Exactly. I have, I have to catch him. This is the time. <laughs> Now, did you guys know about that, the relationship from the beginning? Or was that something that, 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 that came out of left field? Y yeah, for us, too. us too. I loved it, but... Y you but know, we got episodes. We, we knew that, you know, episode two, there was some, some flirting like, yeah, the, from the... But the, the sex scene in episode three, I was like, like oh. It was like automatic. <laughs> I was like reading it and I was like, oh, all right. All right. <laughs> We're not going to worry about earning this. Yeah. yeah. It's going to go for Just it. do it, right? So that's kind of what happened. And, and it's kind of been pinballing, you know, coming back to sword. And I think now, now we're, we're, yeah, we'll lead to a, a 2.0 version of all of us. Of all of us, yeah. And Bigger, badder, yeah. sexier, ready to rock. Um, we're going to cut the rest of this, get there early. What was your favorite moment to shoot? I mean, I think it's, I think it's, it's the same. It's probably the same, yeah. The, the, the dinner scene with Linus' parents. Yeah. It's just, it's just fun. It was a it was a breath of fresh air because you know we, we were in the lab always working on cases and this was the first time that we kind of got to see a little slice of outside life that didn't really have to do with the lab. It just had to do with Camille and Linus as people, with Linus's family and the the actors who play my parents uh, are so yeah, hilarious phenomenal. and they're so sweet. It's like we just had a total blast. There were there was there were many moments of like real life familiarity for me of like <laughs> winning over some parents who you realize like you might even like the parents more than you like the guy. <laughs> um, but it was great because it was so like it was so loaded. There was so much subtext from everyone, right? There's the parent. The parents have their agenda. Linus has his agenda. Camille has hers, and nobody's really listening to that. You know what I mean? Everybody's sort of saying what they what they don't feel. Um, and try, just try, oh, it was it was loaded. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Is there anything in particular you guys want to see happen to your characters? I mean, I want to become the Black Widow of the, <laughs> of the group. I want, to, I want to pull away and we can, like, kick ass. I'm trying to just turn Camille into an action star. That's it. And, actually, bisexual. I made the choice in the beginning that Camille is bi. I don't, I don't think the showrunner agrees with me, but hey, you know, I just think it's 2015, like, visibility is important. It doesn't have to be an after-school special, I think it's Absolutely. just, you know, it doesn't have to be an episode, it's just a moment. Yeah, yeah. You know, Camille's a girl of the world. I think it fits out of any character, I think, I'm re and I'm ready to be, like, representational of that, so. I, I think I've been talking a lot. Okay. I don't know that I've necessarily been heard. <laughs> Is anyone listening to us? Yeah, exactly. That's the most important part. That actually would be an interesting way to throw in. It would definitely send Linus for a loop, that's for sure. I mean, one of two things would happen. Linus would either be excited or he'd be terrified. So, I don't know. I think Linus would, I think before he makes big steps, he's got to take the small steps just as a character. He's just got to grow up. I think kind of leaving the, the super, super geeky, nerdy <laughs> world. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but kind of seeing another side of him, just like going into adulthood, you know what I mean? Just kind of being more mature and being able to deal with situations in a more mature manner.
I think we'll open up a lot of doors in terms of just like being the funny sidekick or you know just being you know the comic relief. So. But well, theorizing on characters right now. How about theorizing about what you are really doing? What the program really is? Who Do even you know knows? Theory? That's a big mystery. That's a big <laughs> mystery. I. I Frankly, I think we're in a bit of a let's figure it out as we go kind of place with that. <laughs> and the longer we sustain that sort of uh, thrall of mystery, you know, the longer we have to develop something really good. There's some some questions will be answered in the episode coming back in season two, first episode. Uh, but there's definitely a lot left to explore and to deepen and kind of just just dig through, you know. So it's exciting. I think I think we left off in a really great place, and we're going to start off with even better. Do you think that uh, we'll see a little more of their outside lives that like so much as with the collab that it's going to best be explored? Yes. yes. One of the notes that came down from the network was break up the Scooby gang. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know? So we'll see, um, you know, Camille and Fisher have a bit of a partnership coming up. Uh, Fisher will, will train Camille you know, to be fight ready. Um, I think uh, I know you, you're going to see a little bit more of Linus's parents, the relationship Linus has with his parents, and kind of his outside life and how that affects his life at work, and, and vice versa. So uh, I think every character is kind of kind of have those moments of this is maybe you know where they came from or how did they end up here. What, what makes them tick outside of it? It'll be interesting. You get to, to get to learn more about the characters as we go. Awesome. So. Oh, oh, so one more question. You said about the fight train. Do you enjoy the physical scene? Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a really physical person. I've you know taken dance my whole life. I you know I play a bunch of instruments. So fight training was a lot of fun. It was a, it was just a new physical skill to you know add to my resume. And I am always way more engaged on set the more I have to do. Like, give me a million props and a ton of dialogue and choreography, and then I'm calm. Like, then I'm a happy camper. So I'm like trying to like layer that into Camille as much as possible. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, ladies.